edge of the penalty area, and that's in by Wayne Allison. Dave Challoner, reputedly the longest thrower of a ball in football, has had a couple of chances to practice. He delivers that virtually onto the penalty spot. A glancing header from Wayne Allison, and that's goal number 14 for the season. And Tranmere lead. Kit Simons has come up, so too has Melville, so too has Coleman. All three of Fulham's central defenders have come forward. Just over the top of Co Coleman! It's 1-1. Chris Coleman gets his fourth goal of the season. I think it was aimed initially at Karl Heinz Riedler, but it was just over the top of the German. And headed back by Wayne Collins. And there was Chris Coleman waiting. 1-1. One, one. It's another chance for Challoner. You can't call it a secret weapon. This time they try something different. Mahan. Good cross. Pulled down by Bab. Henry with the shots. Mike Taylor wasn't certain that was going to go wide. Mahan one in the air by Ball Melville's there, this is Coleman chipped over the defence, there's no offside oh he's missed a great chance for Finnan there's a lovely ball by Coleman over the top and there's no offside flag oh what, how close was that Again, beyond the penalty spot that time. Allison. Into Parkinson. Oh, bad. Well, the player on loan from Anfield, close to opening his account, a cleaner connection. Might have asked more questions of Mike Taylor. It's going to be another testing ball in the air to deal with for this Fulham defence Taylor this time coming to claim it A good quick distribution to Goldbeck Riedler was offside Pesca Salido wasn't here's Pesca Salido good save by Akterberg David Elry waved them on Pesca Salido couldn't convert the chance it's still 1-1 Jones, that's picked off by Finan. Trying to run outside Hazel. That's deflected. Here's Lee Clark, steadies himself. Just needed a deflection off Karl Heinz Riedler. Fulham currently 10th in Division 1, Tranmere in 14th place. Oh, no offside, surely somebody had to be. Goldbeck will get to it, and there are five Fulham players for him to look for here. Riedler! That was a brilliant header, but it was right at the keeper. Great spring in the leap by Riedler. Anywhere other than where it was, and surely Fulham would have been in front. Challoner to throw this time from the halfway line that's picked off by Coleman that's Lee Clark and that turns into a good ball for Riedler although that surely wasn't where it was intended initially forced to check by Hazel to Lee Clark left footed cross Collins is there it was over the top of the substitute Barry Hales Wayne Collins, who scored two against Wimbledon, sees his close-range effort saved by Akterberg.
Fennen. He was in left to do a lot on his own. He nearly did it. Hazel. Mahan. Allison. Parkinson. This is Morgan, just on as a substitute. Mahan. Here's Parkinson, no flag. Into the middle, surely there's an offside. Fulham look accusingly, but it's David Kelly. Tranmere and Tranmere, this David fantastic Kelly. season of success in cup competitions, looks set to continue. But there was no Fulham player beyond David Kelly when Parkinson knocked that ball into the middle. Surely he's got to be offside. First touch. Now, were you offside? No, not at all. Parky might have been, but I wasn't. And when he was played in, I don't know whether he was offside, but he didn't give it. You know, and it was uh, gratefully received. You timed your run to perfection, did you? I must say, it did look as if you might be offside. Well, he's extremely fast, you see, and I can't keep up with him. So I couldn't have been in front of him. Did it help you? Did it help Challoner? The fact that there's quite a lot of width around the pitch here at Craven Cottage. He had a good run-up for those long throws. No, it helps us. Um, all, all the negative vibes coming from people around the country. Yeah. We're thriving on it. And it was, you know, it, it, one of those things that we had to score off. It didn't need to today. <laughs> after, after one of the first throws that we had, it was... Uh, it's fate, but, uh, but no, Dave's a good player in his own right, as well as his throw-ins, and, and he showed that today. Tranmere are through to the Worthington Cup final, into the quarter-final of the FA Cup for the first time in their history. There's glory ahead for the club, isn't there? Fantastic, um, fantastic for everybody involved at the club. Um, being in the doldrums and being in the shadow of the two big clubs on Merseyside, and it's nice to get on the on match of the day. <laughs> and, and they're playing Wrong. well and there's no stopping them in the cup at the moment, Mark. No, and you, you would have thought after the euphoria of getting to the Worthington Cup final on Wednesday in the very late night that some of them had that <laughs> today they may have succumbed, that, uh, you know, seeing as a big scalp by... Some of them got in on Saturday morning. Yeah, <laughs> I heard so, but uh, irresistible yet again. Mm. And you got, I mean, they had a torrid start of the season, you know, first couple of months they, they you know, couldn't win a game. And, mm. and then since then, both cup competitions, they've knocked out the likes of Sunderland, Middlesbrough, Coventry and West Ham. <laughs> as well. That was the easy game. You know, right, you had yeah. to mention that one. Yeah, no, but I mean, four Premiership sides that have beaten mm. them, so it's terrific. Right? It's not a flash in the pan, no, is it? No, no, definitely. Okay.